Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything technology related. I want to do a little video on computer troubleshooting. I know a lot of people often have computer issues related either to Windows, OS X, um, you know, even Linux. Uh, I want to talk about a few different tools you can use on both Windows and OS X to really um, troubleshoot what's going on on your computer. Let's say you have random reboots or you get a kernel panic or an application freezes up. <clears throat> Excuse me. How do you how do you really troubleshoot what's going on? Is it is the computer overheating? Is there a driver conflict? What's going on? And, ha and really, how do you research it to fix it? Um, you get a blue screen, things like that. Well, there's a number of different ways you can troubleshoot computer issues. I'm going to focus on a, a couple of different ways that I usually um, start with in order to, in terms of troubleshooting Windows and OS X. Um, first of all, when it comes to Windows, one of the major uh, system tools that's built in is called the Event Viewer. A lot of people don't realize this, but the Event Viewer is a very, very useful tool, and it can be found by going to right-clicking on my computer, going to Manage, and under there you'll see Event Viewer. And if you go through, if you on, uh, if you um, make, if you expand the Event Viewer, you'll see you can go to System Applications and uh, Security, I believe is what it is, and Basically, you can go through there and check different logs. So let's say your computer reboots or it freezes up at a particular point in time after you launch an application or just you remember the time that it froze up or rebooted and you, you reboot back into the computer and you go check the event viewer, you can see what at specific times what happened with the machine, what caused it to do whatever, and it'll give you a little report and you can use that report and you can research the information that it provides. It even Sometimes it even provides you with a knowledge base article of some sort. Uh, that's one way. Using the blue screen of death is another way. Now I know the blue screen of death is not a very pretty thing to see when you're uh, when you're using a computer and all of a sudden, boom, blue screen. And in fact, some cases with Windows XP especially, uh, Microsoft and Vista now too, uh, they disabled the blue screen sort of. Um, they, I mean, I might, but I, what I mean by disabled is they kind of just hit it by automatically rebooting the machine as opposed to showing the blue screen. It makes it look like you're getting less blue screens. Um, that actually hurts you. It doesn't actually help you that much. By seeing a blue screen, it, what it produces is a stop error code. And that error code can be, re you should always write it down. And then when you boot up the next time, you should research it or take it to another computer and type, write it down specifically and you can research at least the first part before the parentheses usually brings up very common results if you need to you can use the extra parts in the parentheses as even more detailed information uh, that's what I always recommend doing so the blue screen is a good thing and you can disable the automatic reboots by going to the properties and also going to the advanced tab and under system envir environmental controls uh, you can environmental uh, environment system environment and also I believe, uh, under the system environment settings you can uh, untick automatic reboot or or tick you know don't reboot automatically um, so do that the, the blue screen is helpful in terms of the Mac the Mac also has similar features and you can use the system console the activity monitor and things like that to really look at what's going on there is a special tool uh, written by someone I, I forgot who, who, who the name of the guy who wrote it but it, it, the program is called geek tool and basically what it does is it allows you to troubleshoot your computer um, by Basically, putting all the oh, and this is for OS 10 because um, I think I think it really incorporates all of the things for, that it would help you troubleshoot OS 10 into one little package. It even can show you on your desktop. It's kind of it's really neat. Um, check out Geek Tool. It, it's a very useful application for troubleshooting, seeing what's going on when an application launches or crashes or something like that. It records a system log and all those other nifty little things that you want to check out when you're when you're uh, troubleshooting. Uh, if you have any troubleshooting tips, feel free to let me know. Uh, of course, my email is besttechie at besttechie.net. Or you can stop by the live chat at live.besttechie.net. We always are, we're always in there. We currently have 95 people in there right now. Just, you know, hanging out. So if you want to stop by, that'd be great. And, of course, you can just say hello. And, you know, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. This has been live.besttechie.net. We'll see you next time. And remember, take care of your computers.